So after I made the, um, you know, me ranking the Planet Zoo animals based off of if they need a rework or not, I am now going to rank the DLCs for Planet Zoo. But before I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have the aired pack because I got the Ultimate Edition like five days before it was supposed to be released. I got the Ultimate Edition for my birthday, but I didn't get the aired pack. I mean, it's, I mean. I mean, it's not really a big deal, but unfortunately, I can't review it because I don't have the air pack because I don't have it. So let's just start deluxe upgrade. This is a C tier. It wasn't really. It didn't really have that much content. All it had was like three extra species: the Komodo dragon, pygmy hippo, and Thompson's gazelle. The only one I really like is the Komodo dragon. Uh, the pygmy hippo I haven't used, and the Thompson gazelle is just a springbok. Um, so this is a C tier. Next, the Arctic Pack. This is, this is, um, it's a C tier for me. I, I like the Polar Bear, but like the, yeah, there, there, there were four animals in this. Unfortunately, there was an exhibit animal. I mean, I mean, I couldn't, I can't really think of an Arctic exhibit animal, but we had the Polar Bear, Reindeer, Arctic Wolf, and Dal Sheep. I like the Polar Bear and the Dal Sheep, but Reindeer and Arctic Wolf, I'm not, I mean, I haven't used the Arctic Wolf yet. And the reindeer is, needs a rework, like I said in that video. And the, the, the scenery in this pack, which is like Scandinavian, Viking, Norwegians, like, it's only good if you're making like a, an Arctic section of your park. But, or if you're making a park during Christmas time, like in November to December. But the scenery is seasonal and is way too seasonal and you probably just won't be using it that much. So it kind of bumps it down. And honestly, I kind of wish we got a musk ox instead of the Arctic wolf because the uh, maybe the Arctic wolf is good. And the next up, South America pack. This was um, this was a big this was a good step up from the Arctic pack. We got the jaguar, Colombian white faced capuchin, llama, and giant ant eater, and we also had the red eyed tree frog as the exhibit animal. Um. Like, three of the animals I really like in the pack, uh, the Colombian white-faced capuchin, I, I think it's still good, but I kind of would have rather preferred a howler or spider monkey. I mean, we don't have that many monkeys in this game. And the, but, all, but anyways, the, the scenery of this pack is really good for making, like, a tropical rainforest or temple, uh, you know, sort of thing. I mean, ever since we got the tropical pack, you know, we also got, like, Indonesian temple, so I don't know if... The, but, like, the South America scenery is pretty cool. Uh, Australia pack. Uh, I'm really going for either... I kind of decided on a C or B tier. Because, like, like the Arctic pack, like, the, the scenery is only good if you're making, like, a, like a continent-specific section of your park. Like, if you want to make, like, an Australia section. Although I have, you know, if you ever want to make, like, a desert... I guess if you want to make, like, a desert area... I'm then I guess maybe the walls, but I'll probably put it in B tier because, you know, all the animals are is what really carries this pack besides the qual which needs a rework, but the red kangaroo dingo and southern cassowary are really good animals. And the blue tongue skink is just a nice exhibit animal. And the Australia pack is pretty good. And also, um I forgot to mention that. Um, you know, there are some really cool like, you know, trees and foliage in this. Next up, the Aquatic Pack. This is a really freaking good pack. It um, it had the King Penguin, um, Giant Otter, Gray Seal, and well, Cuvier's Dwarf came in. Now the Gray Seal, ever since we got the North America Pack with the California Sea Lion, it's kind of, the Gray Seal, I don't know, just kind of lost its charm. And ever since we got the Wetlands Pack, the, uh, which one, the, Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman just doesn't really, isn't really as useful because we have this Spectacle Cayman. I mean, maybe if you prefer the latter, then maybe it'll be different, but Aquatic Pack, the King Penguin, and uh, Giant Otter are really good. I, mean, I guess the Gray Seal is a lot, is kind of, you know, has a, is a little bit more, you know, is unique. It's because, you know, seals and sea lions are different, but the scenery, also the scenery is cool. You know, it's like New England, like aquarium sort of stuff. 
But, I mean, face it, we're probably not going to get a actual, like, aquatic fish in the game. We'll probably just get a planet aquarium, but that's a story for another day. That's a video for another day. But, you know, some of the, the scenery pieces are cool. Like, the, the, the seagulls are, the seagull, like, rooftoppers are cool. The fall rocks are cool. And uh, some of the plants are cool, like the giant rub herb, whatever it was called, and the... What was the other one? It was, there are some others I just can't think of, but... Uh, aquatic Pack is great. Southeast Asia Animal Pack. This didn't have any scenery in it because it was an animal pack. There were eight uh, species instead of five. I guess it's an eight tier because... I mean, we all know that like the Million Tapir and Dole aren't really the most popular because the Million Tapir is just... You t they, they just took... The barge taper, press control C, control V on the model, and recolored it. And the, uh, I'm not a fan of the doll, but everything else: proboscis monkey, binturong, sun bear, clouded leopard, North Sulawesi babarusa. I think that those are fine. Then there's also the giant Malaysian leaf insect, but I don't use it that much. But the other like five animals, they're really freaking good. Probably an eight tier pack. Africa pack is an S tier because its animal selection is near perfect. We got the African penguin, the southern white rhinoceros. I mean, honestly, why wasn't the rhino in the base game? I, I don't understand that. Uh, the fennec fox and the meerkat. And we also got the dung beetle or sacred scarab beetle, whatever you want to call it. I mean, maybe we could have had like the greater kudu or olive baboon or something like that. But still, I really like the animal selection. And also the North African scenery is pretty good. Maybe this could have, should have just been an animal pack, but I still like the scenery. If you want to make, like, ancient Egypt, I guess that'd be pretty cool. Like, up North America pack, this is an instant S tier. All the animals in it are great. Arctic fox, moose, I love the moose. The beaver, the California sea lion. What else? Uh, uh, the, what, what are they? Blacktail prairie dog. The American alligator and the bullfrog. They're 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 all top tier animals. They all look amazing. And that that's pretty much what also the the music biodiversity really slaps. But next up what isn't really that good is the Europe pack. I'm not a fan of it. I guess the European scenery is cool. Like, you know, medieval shields and stuff. But of the animals I'm not the biggest fan of. The Ibex looks too cutesy, I'm not a fan of the lynx. I like, I think the badger's okay and the fallow deer is fine. I'm not really the, a big fan of the Europe pack. Wetlands pack is a S animal pack. This is an animal pack. It didn't have any scenery, but all the animals in are great. Capybaras, you know. It pulls up and hops out at the after party. It's a really cool animal. It has the bathing feature. The Nile Lechway is a favorite of mine. The platypus is cool. What else? The red crown crane, the wild water buffalo. Spectacle came in the Danbu Crested Newt. I actually really like the Danbu Crested Newt. Like, all the animals in are good, and also the the enrichment, the hot water tap is pretty cool. Also, oh, wait, I forgot to mention that the Europe Pack did have some cool trees in it, like the olive tree and cork oak tree, and also had the scarecrow feeder. I also And I forgot to mention the Africa Pack also had the sausage tree, which I really like. But all in all, the wet, anyways, but back to the wetlands pack, it's really good. Really freaking good. It's an S tier. Conservation is, I guess it's an A tier because mainly because uh, I mean it it has good animals. The Shavalski's horse or Prozwalki horse, whatever you call it, call it. Simang, Amer leopard, Shimator horned orcs. They're all really good. I really love the Simang. I love its brachiation, the sounds it makes. The horse is pretty cool that it basically sleeps standing up. Uh, and and also the some of the and the scenery is like really good for making backstage like backstage areas and like you know like gardens or something or farms it's really good and a lot of the 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 plants are in the pack are mostly flowers but there's also stuff like the fig tree and there's probably some others I can't think of uh, then the twilight pack I, I don't know, is this a beer eight I guess A tier because I, you know, it has the raccoon, the wombat, the fox, and the skunk. I'm not a fan of the skunk. I, I don't know why I'd have a stinky animal on the zoo. I mean, one animal that literally sprays stinker. 
and you know the but I really like the raccoon fox and wombat and although I like the arctic pack its scenery is kind of too seasonal although I, I guess if you want to make like a nice gothic looking castle I would recommend this pack or if you want just you know some smaller like you know animals for like a North America part honestly just call this North America pack 2.0 Although it does also have the, uh, Wombat. Uh, Grasslands Animal Pack, do I need to explain this is an S tier? All the animals that are, are really good. Maned Wolf, Blue Wildebeest, I really love the Blue Wildebeest, although why wasn't in the base game? Um, uh, the Armadillo, Caracal, not a fan of the Caracal, the Striped Hyena, the, what else is there? There's probably some others I can't, what, what was that? What was that? Uh... What was I thinking of? I may have forgot. Oh, the emu and the... What, what was the other one? What was the other... Ex what was that? Let me think. Uh... Uh... What was in that... I can't remember what it was. Was it the... Oh, it was the Redneck Wallaby. But, yeah, the Grasslands Pack is an S tier. And finally, the Tropical Pack, that least, uh, is a B tier. Because, um, I mean, the Lar Gibbon, uh, I haven't... I, I mean, because the Conservation Pack had the Siming, I don't really have a reason to use the Lar Gibbon, but the, the Fusa, uh, Red River Hog, and, uh... What was that? Uh, Red Revog and Nile Monitor and also the Sloth. Also, I forgot to mention that Grasslands had the Butterflies, which was cool, and Twilight had the Bats. Uh, but the, the Tropical Pack, you know, had the Sloths. They're pretty cool. And also some, in you know, the indonesian theme uh, scenery is pretty good if you want to make, like, a Southeast Asia part. So this is my tourist. This is how I'd rank them. Also, the, if I, the reason I don't have D or F is because there's no really bad uh, DLC, so that's all.